No. The, so I l- recently listened to Face and L.A. Reid on, on two podcasts when they were, because the biggest question for us is, you're doing rituals of love and we're expecting, okay, the magic of L.A. and Face to come back and, mm-hmm. you know, to reproduce the magic. And... Yeah. But you had you no, know, you you know it's 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 no it's it's no downgrade to go to have Jimmy and Terry, but it 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 wasn't the you know there were there two two of the greatest duels, but there were two different types of they brought something different f- from you. Um, how much of a how much of a say did you have in the direction of your production? Oh. Well, the. The production, Ritual of Love. Okay, I met with Prince, and oh, wow. uh, this was during the pa- the Batman phase. So originally, oh. I came out to me. I met with uh, I met Terry and Jimmy when I did uh, Michael Jeffries, who sang on the background. Uh, no, who sang on Jeff Lorber's album as well. He was from Tower of Power. It was he and I were featured. So I sang on a duet that Jimmy and Jerry wrote for. Michael Jeffries. So that's how I met uh, Jam and Lewis. And um, so I uh, went to go meet with Prince and this was during the Batman phase. Yeah. And um, and this is, I should have just did it anyway. Cause I, I don't, I didn't really hear the sound. He had played some tracks to me, but I didn't really hear that sound. So I said, Prince, I have an idea. So I sang them, feel the rhythm, pal. Pound into the ritual of love. You know, so I sang that. And he was like, hmm, that's a little deep. I'm like, deep? I'm like, <laughs> oh, you were the king of that. <laughs> the rhythm, pound in. And I kind of was trying to do like a dove. I came up with the melody. Anyway, he said, you're in good hands. He's like, you know, you need to stick with Jimmy and Terry on this. And so I was like, okay, but I want to work with Brent. So anyway, so I... um. Jimmy and Terry. So they they didn't want so it really was the fact that Jam and Lewis inherited me because of LA and Face and their new label. So, you know, I was kind of a they had to they only could work with so many artists. And so they had Tony Braxton. So that's kind of where it was like we're we're trying to make our own Karen White. You know what I mean? So it was just a it's called the luck of the draw, you know. It was like, darn it, so strong, <laughs> you know, would have been, you know, probably a lot. I don't know. I'm not going to say what they would have been. Who knows? But yeah. So then we didn't work together on the second album, and and then uh, with Jimmy and Terry, I said I wanted to definitely do um, a romance me and a dance side, and that uh, the songs like Tears of Joy. Those are some of my favorites. A lot of the songs were pop that got. Cause I got with George Michael's manager. So they kind of released Warner brothers took me in a very pop direction, mm. which now I'm like, I wish we got the numbers, you know, having the number one pop and this and that. But I just feel like there were so many gems on that album that were like, like I said, the song I wrote with the Michael, Michael Powell from Anita Baker, tears of joy beside you. Those were two, uh, songs that I think would have been just classics for me, but they were more R&B. So I just kind of got caught up in my new manager seeing me like, you're the black Madonna. Um, so he kind of changed my direction. And I left, I was with Larkin Arnold on my first album. He was my manager. So he's the one who was the president of Sony Records and 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 discover, you know, who signed Sade, who, uh, Luther, Natalie, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He was, yeah, our, yeah. you know, Michael, he had a, he had a hand in that. So I think where we went wrong is we, we just kind of left our base a little bit too much. Mm. Pop too fast. Yeah. Yeah. And left that, that soul on the table that we should, not you know what I mean? So even though the, I think the album was gold and the single of course was my biggest pop single, you know, went number one, which is, which is not easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I had a pop record, but I just think my fans were a little, you know, that, that there was a chemistry that yeah. Jim and Terry and I had. So isn't that a crazy place to be in, though? <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> like, hmm, you know what I mean? And it's, it was, you know, so I know I feel so bad for 
Terry, because I know he was like, we shouldn't be, you know, you really need to be working with them. Why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it was a weird, it was just um, luck of the draw, you know? So. Um, well, well, L.A. Reid cleared up. Uh, oh, uh, tell uh, me. Look, he, tell he, me. He cleared it up. So he, Say. he and, 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 and Face and Pebbles came to a music convention out in New Orleans. Oh, Benny, really? Benny and Medina had invited him to come and he walks in with pebbles and uh -huh. Benny says, no, you need to get her out of here. Right. And, and he was like, what? You know, he's like, if she goes, I go. And so they left. And so I said, we're not doing anything with you. And so oh, that's what happened. That's what happened. And so, um, so LA said this recently. So he says that you know, years later, they didn't talk. So they, they met up after. 10 years later, and Benny says, look, the reason why I was upset was I was bringing you to this function to meet all the heads of Warner Brothers to start giving you other artists to work, work with, but you brought Karen's biggest, sort of her, her sort of rival from another label to a Warner's function, and, and that then smacks, smacks in the face of the execs, and I was trying to get you to tell you, look, you have to take her out, but, and they said, oh, so that's... <laughs> So yeah, Alex so, said that? Yes, he said it on Questlove. So that's where he clarified as to what that, because he didn't know. They didn't know for all this time why they weren't allowed to work with you, that they just, and Benny explained that he couldn't, that that, <laughs> that, that was because. I, I never knew that. Look, yeah. how, how many years ago is this? <laughs> 30 years? <laughs> Really? Yeah, so it wasn't wow. the first, yeah, so they, yeah. So look at you, <laughs> brought some healing over here. Why'd you let me sit up here and tell that story? You should have said, wait, cut, stop. No, well, no, no, it, because I, I, because I, I think most of us didn't, go kept wondering why, and, and even Babyface wasn't really too sure, but it was only LA who, because it was only LA who recently met with Benny, and they hadn't spoken for 10, 20 years, and then they sort of, um, sort of said, yes, yeah, so they hadn't spoken for all that time. And wow, so, you're, oh my God. Yeah, so it was because of Pebbles. Uh, well, not, not because of Pebbles, but because no, he, he yeah, brought... it's a whole thing. But you know, that's a weird thing. It's just like with me and Janet and, 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 and you know, I, I, and uh, Jimmy and Terry, you know what I mean? It's like, I guess I can understand the label feeling like that. It's a weird place to be in, huh? It's like, Hmm, interesting. Wow. Okay, <laughs> look, thank you. Aw, thank you for, for bringing some healing. You know, those are my guys, you know, and I really, uh, you know, I'm thankful. And and uh, so that's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense now. I, I was trying, maybe uh, it's because of... Um, <laughs> yeah. <that's funny. laughs> no, because separately, Face was really disappointed that he couldn't work with and, and so Daryl, but then LA had to clarify clarify. But he but he wouldn't have known until Benny first said, look, that's that why he was upset with him coming to the convention. Right. With Pebbles and, and, wow. Okay. And, and stuff, look. So. <laughs> look at you. I love it. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification. But better still check out our membership where you can get to watch these videos from day one, as well as our monthly meetings when we get to meet up and talk with myself and, and the rest of the people who are members, but also some exclusive interviews, which we don't get, I don't get to broadcast, but thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.